we in the Caribbean, and in particular CAFA, now have the ability to test for the coronavirus. We have swabs that we're able to use to, ident to get samples, and CAFA is able to test. So Grenada will be using CAFA for the testing of coronavirus, and this can happen right now as we speak, and that's a plus for us. The medical practitioner recommends that in an effort to protect oneself against transmission of the virus, regular hand washing should become a practice. Use alcohol-based hand sanitizers, preferably 75%, and use hand dryers and paper towels in place of hand towels. Christina John, GBN News. Other news, a Grenadian pastor believes value-based religious education should be implemented in all schools across the island. Rena Pear tells us more. In an exclusive phone interview with GBN, Pastor Devon Mushi, president of Grenada Alliance of Evangelical Churches, called on the officials from the Ministry of Education to implement value-based religious education in all schools. The pastor explains while traditionally religious education was taught as a subject focusing on religious history and Bible texts, it should now include morals and values. Roche says with the breakdown of morals and values in society, planting these seeds in the young generation is important for the future. Pastor Roche believes that these values can help build a better society. For GBN News, I am Rina Pear reporting. Now, thanks to cameras in Gore Street in St. George, the act of a female causing damage to several vehicles was recorded. The identity of the female was not disclosed. Police have not released any information on the incident, and GBN will continue to follow this development. Meanwhile, GBN received reports of a garbage truck that caught on fire in a granny tang this afternoon. We continue to follow these developments. It was an atmosphere of celebration as the court's OECS reading competition champion returned home from St. Lucia, where the final was held. Melody Garrett received a warm welcome earlier today at the Maurice Bishop International Airport. It's more in this report. Students, teachers, and other staff of the Montrose SDA Primary School were all at the Maurice Bishop International Airport to welcome her home as the court's OECS Reading Competition Champion 2020. Garrett competed and emerged victorious over five other islands in the annual event. The nine-year-old was pleased to be home and was overjoyed with her accomplishments. I, fe I felt relaxed when I heard that they said that I won because 
of my hard work. And what it means for me now is that if you work hard and you put your mind to what you want to do, you will succeed. This competition has taught me to be brave and to not be afraid of anything because what I did, most people cannot do, so I am very happy. Misty Garrett, mother of the champion, appealed to other parents to support their children in whatever they endeavor to do. Just support them, despite we just think, well, okay, doing certain things is not acceptable socially, but they are children who would be able to do some things academically, you support them. If it's a skill, you support them as well, because despite what, this child will be making you proud in any, any field that they go out to. So we just have to support them and continue praying for them and just doing what we have to do for them. Rochelle Frederick George, teacher at Melody's school, was her reading coach. From the district level, I was really confident. I just knew she would have um, won the overall competition. There is something very special about Melody that you know draws everybody to her. She's a very humble child, and um, she does her best in everything that she put her mind to. She gives it her all, and that's what um, that's what st stood out for her, and she was able to um, come out the champion in that competition. For GBN News, Beverly Tellersford. Congrats again, Melody. All right, stay with us when we come back. Inhalers available at low cost for asthma patients. This is News at 7. KFC National Relay Meet, Saturday, 22nd February, 2020, at the Kirani James Athletic Stadium. From 1.30 p.m., we kick it off. With the top schools and top clubs throughout the Tri-Island State, will keenly compete. Over 45 events will be contested. Testing medleys, sprint relays, the 4x1s, the 2x4s, the 4x4s, the 1x2x4s. Just name it, we've got it. And for the very first time, mixed relays, increased prize monies. Come and enjoy the biggest and best relay meet ever. The 22nd KFC National Relay Meet. Saturday, 22nd February. Tickets available from all KFC outlets. So are you looking for doors and windows that look sophisticated and are very secure? Then St. Lou Metals is your one-stop shop. Our windows and doors make sure your home not only looks great, but is more secure. We manufacture shower enclosures, doors, windows for residential and commercial properties using high-grade material and the latest technology. If you want to save money and improve your home's appearance, you have made the right choice by shopping at St. Lou Metals. For a free quotation, visit us today at the Frequente Industrial Park or call us at 439 
Refreshing powder, fresh and clean, fresh and clean. When I put on me clothes, me must swing. When I wash me clothes, no other detergent could ever wash me clothes like this. Now buy three bottles of Clay's dishwashing liquid for only $8. Available at Best for Less Supermarket, Eat Fresh Supermarket, MNC Joe Supermarket, Pope Pride Supermarket, The Food Fairs, Carinage and Grand Ants, Roberts Enterprise, Springs Food Mart and Chalo Supermarket. Other place products available, hand sanitizer, fabric softener, hand washing liquid, dish washing liquid, and toilet cleaners. Distributed by Fortune Foods Company Limited, Tempe St. George. Tropical shipping is fast and reliable. Always on time, safe and affordable. Friendly staff here to connect you. Tropical worldwide, you must get to. Shop online and you get it on time. Hassle free to meet your deadline. Consolidate any size, any load with tropical shipping. So we ship everything. I can't wait to ship with tropical. I can't wait. No package to be closed. No, I cannot wait to ship with tropical. A local agents, George F. Huggins and Company, Grenada Limited. A telephone number 440-8787. Or visit our website at www.tropical.com. Email us at grenadasales at tropical.com. Tropical Shipping. Committed to island life. All non-profit organizations, including non-governmental organizations, are hereby notified that the Financial Intelligence Unit and the Anti-Money Laundering and Combating Terrorism Financing Commission, in collaboration with the Corporate Affairs and Intellectual Property Office, wishes to invite you or a representative from your organization to a compliance symposium on Wednesday, 19th February at 4.30 p.m. at the Hospitality Suite located at the National Cricket Stadium, Media Level 2, Queen's Park, St. George. For further information and to confirm your attendance, please contact the office on 444-3828 or email officeamlcommissiongda.com. This is GBN. We've got the means, the power, and the medium. This segment is brought to you by Flu. A new in-home experience is here. All your services bundled into one simple plan. Faster, more reliable Wi-Fi so that you can binge, play, and stream uninterrupted. Unlimited flow local landline minutes mean you can talk and talk and talk. Plus the best in TV entertainment with over 70 channels and 12 in HD. All for $200 a month with the new all-in bundle. With Flow, it only gets better. Officials of the Ministry of Health are cautioning people who are... Uh, who are suffering from respiratory illnesses, including asthma, to have their medication with them at all times. Rina Pear tells us more. Asthma is a condition in which persons' airways narrows and swell, producing extra mucus. This can make breathing difficult and trigger coughing, wheezing, and shortness of breath. For some people, asthma is a minor nuisance, while for others, it can be a major problem which may lead to a life-threatening asthma attack. Acting Chief Medical Officer Francis Martin, at today's post-cabinet briefing, informed members of the public that there is a substantial amount of Sahara dust over Grenada, and people suffering from asthma and similar illnesses should always have their medication with them. 
particular asthmatics. So we really want to encourage asthmatics out there to um, stock up on your medication, uh, on your puffs, ensure that you have uh, regular checkups with your physician um, to prevent those from happening. Those persons who are asthmatic, I'm pretty sure they're going to be able to remember which of the, those puffs are the uh, preventable puff, that's the becotide. So if you do have your becotide, keep it close by because that's what you're going to use to prevent yourself from getting to an asthma attack. If perchance the asthma attack actually come, then you change to your Ventolin. The chief medical officer wants the condition can be fatal. He says people can now purchase the asthma pumps for little or in some cases at no cost at the government dispensaries. Um, and, is, and as it relates to the medicines itself, I, I can confirm that in our national formulary, the essential medicines for asthma is present in our national formulary. And so persons can get those medications at no cost to themselves or minimal cost to themselves. So it's really affordable if persons really want to go out there and get it. And the, in the rare event that someone really doesn't have the 2 or $3 or $5 to pay for it at the pharmacy, we I can use my office to ensure that they get it without having to pay that nominal cost. So the CMO says there is no excuse for people with asthma not to have their medication. For GBN News, I am Rina Pear reporting. Health Minister Nicola Steele assured the public that the oxygen plant at the Grenada General Hospital is in operation. The minister was one of the facilitators at Tuesday's post-cabinet briefing at the ministerial complex. The oxygen plant at the General Hospital was out of operation for almost two years. A delayed shipment of the gas from Trinidad prompted the move by the U.S. naval ship Comfort last December to donate 16 tanks of oxygen to the General Hospital and conduct repairs to the plant there. The health minister admits that oxygen is being sourced locally, but the plant itself is up and running. Oxygen, we are purchasing oxygen right now, as opposed to the, the production of. The plant is not completely down, but in order to safeguard regular um, supply, we are purchasing oxygen um, from the local supplier. And we are, have also decided and finalized on and will um, sign the deal, so to speak, on a brand new oxygen plant because we needed to get one anyway for the phase two. What we have done is get a larger one that will be able to handle the entire hospital operations so the existing plant will become a backup plant and we will have a brand new plant that will be able to, to, to produce our national demand because I, we believe that it is necessary to have those redundancies, so to speak, with something that essential as oxygen. And we would still have as well the ability of the, the, the local supplier and the regional supplier. There's been no interruption of services using oxygen at all, no interruption. All right, so consideration is being given to a second oxygen plant with the capability of managing the full complement of operations at the hospital. Stay with us now for this evening's I Saw with Akisha Felix, compliments Claire Vision Eye Center. Tonight's I Saw features the winner of the Coates OECS Reading Competition, Melody Garrett, who attends the Montrose STE Primary School. The tunnel was dark, but Marty knew his way through it. He used his powerful nose to find the passage. It smelled like his favorite. You can send in your photo and video submissions via our social media platforms. A good eye captures all. GBN Eyesore is brought to you by Claire Vision. You know us, but we knew. You feel at home with every visit. An experienced team offering personalized courtier service and trendy brand name lifestyle products. We're changing the vision care landscape one customer at a time. Vision Eye Center. People and technology coming together to help you see the world with a clearer vision. We invite you to stay with us. More news to report after the break. Kayak Mass 2020. February 15th to February 
25th in the Real Event, making one spectacular carnival. Saturday, February 15th, Children Mass, Frolic, and the Big Show. Thursday, February 20th, Queen Show Night. February 21st, Soka Monarch. Saturday, 22nd, Chap Convention. Kadusu and Groovy. Sunday, February 23rd, Monday, Juve, and Monday Night Mass. Tuesday, February 21st, Shakespeare Mass, and the last lap. All the major MCs and DJs will be inside Hayak Mass 2020. Make reservations and book now. Supporting Nation Building through its many sponsorships and programs, including Financial Literacy Quiz, Pass the Torch Calypso Program, Junior Cooperatives in Secondary Schools, CPEA, and the Time CC Grants. The Credit Union has helped many people make their dreams come true. Let them help you with yours. You don't have to be a teacher to be a member. So, what are you waiting for? GUT Credit Union. It's where belong as the world prepares for the 2020 summer olympics some of the world's top athletes will begin their journey to tokyo right here in grenada everything comes down to this moment the fourth annual grenada invitational takes place on saturday april 4th at the karani james athletic stadium world-class athletes from an athlete's perspective i understand and value the experience that an athlete has when they come to a place like grenada world-class event because it feels safe it feels warm world-class venue it's beautiful you've got a stadium right by the sea grenada invitational saturday april 4th tickets to the grenada invitational are now available online at go to how going on, boy? Hey, hey, good old things. How you Daisy? Yeah. Boy, line, boy. Your house looking a real good day. Boy, it's thanks to the hardworking and professional staff at the Housing Authority of Grenada. They handled me real nice. They did my plan, they did the construction, and I didn't even have to worry about that thing. They were there with me every step of the way, supervising the job, asking me about my concerns, giving me feedback as the house took shape. They were there from start to finish, and even put the keys in the palm of my hand. I give them an A for customer service. Oh, it's people from housing bad boy. Boy, not bad. Excellent. If you're thinking about constructing your home, why not consult the housing authority of Grenada? You could visit them right down in the Sandino complex or give them a call 440-1015 or 440-1016. Or check out their website, hag473.com. They go handle you. They go jog your blocks. They go draw your plan. They go talk your materials. <laughs> hey, man, where you going? The Housing Authority of Grenada is your choice for affordable housing and a stress-free construction experience. It's detox time again at Nirvana Natural Hall Clinic Detox Center. The festive season is over. So let's start 2020 looking and feeling like a boss with our many body cleansing options. Purchase detox products as low as $50. Purchase detox combo packs as low as $100. Receive 10% off on all in-house colonic irrigation treatments. Take control of your health now. Don't delay. Call us on 2 3 Three one six six four two four one eight seven one one five or four four nine seven seven five three. We are located in Belmont St. George's, close to the Fall Edge area. These offers are valid from January to March or while stocks last. Nirvana Natural Health Clinic Detox Center. Detox your way to health. 
GBN leads, the others follow. This segment is brought to you by Republic Bank. We all want a home that matches our way of life. But it's not just about building or buying a dream home or purchasing land with the most breathtaking view. It's about finding the bank that would make you feel at home. A home easy loan from Republic is your best choice. It's more than a mortgage. It's peace of mind. Visit any of our six branches. Submit your application forms on our website or talk to us on Facebook. Experience peace of mind today. Republic Bank, we're the one for you. All right, you all watching News at 7, this story to report. As we reflect several days after Grenada celebrated its 46th anniversary of independence, reminiscing on the ilk of Sir Eric Matthew Gary and the heroes who went before him, one name that comes to the fore is Steve Marichaud, the father of West Indian Federation. Strengthening regional integration in the Caribbean has seen a lackluster performance from participating countries. And according to a recent IMF article, it has restricted the region from witnessing an increased growth in its GDP. A crisis of ill is, uh, is, a, is also attributed for the slow pace of implementation of regional integration. Gerard Joseph has this report. According to the latest IMF research, further loosening of trade and labor mobility can generate significant economic benefits. The International Monetary Fund's Country Focus article, emphasized by a photo of the carnage in St. George's, highlights that the region's gross domestic product can potentially grow by over 7 percent. The IMF has proposed a 25 percent reduction in non-tariff barriers and trade costs within CARICOM, which can boost trade and improve welfare gain for all members at about $6 billion or at 7.1 percent of the region's GDP. It can also help restructure economies from contracting to expanding sectors, resulting in a net employment gain across the region. The article dated February 4th says, while policymakers of the Caribbean community, CARICOM, remain committed to further integration and progress has been made, the implementation of integration initiatives and policies toward the goal of a regional economic union has been slow and needs to be accelerated. Compared to other well-integrated regions like the ECCU and the EU, the Caribbean lags. Financial integration has proceeded faster with tightly interconnected financial systems across the region, but capital markets remain underdeveloped and fragmented. Harmonizing economic and structural policies to support a single economic space is still work in progress, with lacking harmonization and coordination of investment codes, tax incentives, and macroeconomic economic policies. T.A. Marichaud may be lamenting the present predicament as the blame lies, according to the IMF, to a combination of institutional, political economy and structural factors which underlie the slower implementation of integration policies. The article also denotes the lack of a regional body with powers and accountability that can help transform community decisions to binding laws in individual jurisdictions as a key impediment. Citing the absence of a facilitating regional architecture, the IMF believes that cooperation must rely on well-aligned national interests and shared goals. However, the IMF is also of the opinion that national incentives do not seem to be well-aligned for integration. While the Caribbean countries have broadly agreed that integration should remain a top priority and greater collaboration is critical to tackle common challenges. The IMF believes it is important to capitalize on this momentum. I am Gerald Joseph for GBN News. The weather is next, followed by the sports news. See you in a while. Grenada, 1795. One man with a sense of destiny. Tonight we stand our ground. Tonight we stand on the side of history. 14,000 slaves with a dream and a promise. Julian Ferron, a Heritage Theatre production written and directed by Chris DeRiggs, 28th and 29th March, 4th and 5th April at the Trade Centre. People who 
was not made to live like this. It's like we have a cause. Julian Fedor, an action-packed historical drama. I see blood falling from the sky, filling up that mountain river, flowing from Belvedere Hills. I see blood. Four big nights of theater, the play the nation has been waiting to see with Sam Gilvey, Lisa Grappy James, Robert White, Dale Devine, and other top-of-the-line acting talents. Opening Saturday, 28th March. Get your tickets now. And so it begins. A journey like no other. Jungles so lush, they make emeralds jealous. Water that sparkles like diamonds. Mountains with more facets than precious gems. This is where good times are had, where love is strengthened, where memories are formed. to an end, bring home something that will never fade. Columbian Emeralds International. Bring home more than a memory. Esplanade Mall St. George's, Maurice Bishop International Airport, and Sandals Grenada Resort. Telephone number 230-1023. Oh, your dog, Weather for Grenada, Karakou, and Petit Martinique followed for tonight and the following three days. Weather tonight generally fair, becoming partly cloudy with the chance of uh, some light early morning showers. Tonight's minimum temperature 23 degrees Celsius, wind northeasterly to east southeasterly, east northeasterly at 8 to 18 miles per hour. Seas moderate to rough, waves 6 to 9 feet in open water. A marine advisory remains in effect. Tides low at 10.47 p.m., high at 6.53 a.m. All right, sunrise tomorrow morning, 6.31. The weather on Thursday, the 13th day of February, partly cloudy with light morning showers. On Friday, the 14th, Valentine's Day, fair to partly cloudy with light nighttime showers. And on Saturday, the 15th, generally fair. All right. Now the sports news with Joseph Cadeau.
Well, good evening and welcome, sporting fans, to this evening's sporting segment. Republic Bank Grenada Limited has given its full commitment to the Intercall Games. This fall in the launch of what would be the inaugural Republic Games that was launched yesterday evening. The games will take place on March the 3rd of the 31st to April 2nd and will involve participation by schools in some 106 events. Now, speaking during yesterday's launch was the managing director of the bank, Keith Johnson. According to Johnson, the games Games, of course, will serve as the ideal vehicle to continue the bank's support of the nation's young people. But we're very pleased to host this first ever Republic Bank Intersecondary Schools Athletic Championships, fondly referred to as Intercol. As has been said before, Republic Bank boasts an enviable track record of support in the area of youth development through sports. And the Intercol Games is a huge addition to the illustrious list of sporting activities supported by the bank, such as the Right Start Youth Football Tournament, the Right Start on the 19 Inter Parish Cricket Tournament, and the National Learn to Swim Week, just to name a few. Continuing with the story and intercall, well, with the issue of security at the Games always being a hot topic, the Royal Grenada Police Force has given the full assurance that all will be well over the three days. Again, speaking at yesterday's launch was Inspector Simon Douglas, and he says the IGPF will be rolling out a detailed security plan. Offensive weapons. As it stands, the Royal Grenada Police Force has had in place for quite a while now, a zero tolerance policy on these. And that is going to be enforced more stringently than elsewhere at the Intercor Games. So absolutely no room for anything that can be used as a weapon. You come to the Games with one, rest assured if it's found, you will be arrested and charged. Now, high on the agenda will be a zero-tolerance approach to the use of drugs at the Games. Drugs, and um, I, will, I will mention particularly alcohol, because um, some of our persons may not see alcohol as drugs. It is also a drug. We are not going to be allowing any form of drugs to get past us. So if there is any suspicion of someone having in their possession or using, we are going to do what the law allows us to do to take care of that situation. So we are also asking persons to refrain from coming to the venue with such items. Moving on to swimming, where well, the Grenada Amateur Swimming Association has named the five-member team who will represent Grenada at the Ioana Swim Cup 2020 in Peru. Well, five swimmers will be participating in the meet. However, it is significant to note that a total of 11 swimmers would have already would have originally qualified to participate in this year's, this year's meet. The, the meet boasts of three age groups for swimmers, the age group 11 to 12, 13 to 14, and 15 to 17. As done at the Carafter and CC Can Swimming Championships. Now, here's what we can tell you: the swimming comp competition would include the following athletes in the female category: Anika Charles, and she would be competing in the age group 13 to 14; Gabrielle Heisen in the age group 13 to 14 as well; Ariane Clowden, age group 13 to 14; Kimberly Ince, the 15 to 17 age group; and the lone male in the mix is Zachary Gresham. He swims. With with the, in the 13 to 14 category. We can tell you that the team is expected to leave here on February the 18th, advance of the competition, which commences on February the 21st, and they're scheduled to return home on February the 24th. We move now to GCIC Cricket. Well, m and Hardware, they made a win and start to their title defense in the GCIC Intersector Cricket Tournament. Now, the annual tournament will see 24 teams participating in the competition, with teams playing out of four zones. We can tell you, in the opening round of matches, there were victories also for Nawasa and GPA Sports Club. As part of the opening of the tournament, there was a colorful patch match pass that was won by Dodgy Docks. 
blazes. Now, let's give you a sense as to what happened in the games from round one. Well, again, round one, the first match saw Nawasa against Teachers. Well, batting first, of course. Um, they scored 91 for three, off of 18, off of 13 overs, with the top batsman for teachers being Valwin Celestine. He scored 27. Well, the best bowling uh, uh, attack for Nawasa was Alvin Bowen. He took 2-2 two, two, for two in one over. Well, in their chase, well, Nawasa, they scored 92 for five in 8.3 overs, with, of course, Keston Greenwich, he top scoring with 42 for Nawasa. The best ball in attack for teachers was Denroy Charles. He took two for five off of his um, two overs. Nawasa winning that one by five wickets. Well, in their opening game, well, m and -N Hardware, they played Glen Elg, Glen Elg. In their first innings, Glen Elg, of course, they made 103 all out in 13 overs. The top batsman was Rohan Francis. He hit 27. A bowling for m and Hardware, Kellon Maras, he took three for six in two overs. In reply, the defending champions, well, they reached 104 for five in 10.1 overs. Um, with Kenyon Levine, he top scoring with 34 not out. Boarding for Glenegg, and um, Mike and Narine, he took two wickets for 11 runs in one over. Amen in Hardware, they won that match by five wickets. Uh, next game to tell you about was Grenleck. They played GPA Sports Club. Well, batting first, GPA Sports Club, they total a massive 181 for four in 15 overs. Of course, Dwayne Charles, he hit a blistering 70. Um, Bowling for Grenleck, Lazarus Joseph, he took one for two in one overs. In reply, well, they tried, but they couldn't power up, measure up. Grenleck, they, they totaled 161 for three in 15 overs. Um, well, Len Bascom, he came close to the opening century of the tournament. He hit 90, but of course, all in a losing effort as they went on to under by 20 runs. Well, that's the wrap in sports for all of us here at the GBN. We say thanks for being part of the broadcast. So long, everybody. Thank you, Joseph. A reminder of the headlines. Teachers reject government's financial incentive offer. Grenada Trades Union Council lends support to the GUT. Molinier Road deterioration continues. Plus, in the sports news, m and Hardware off to win and start in intersector cricket, while the RGPF to adopt zero-tolerance approach to alcohol and other drug use during Intercol 2020. If you missed any part of this newscast, the repeat of it will be broadcast at 10 o'clock tonight. Continue to follow us online, gbn.gd, on GBN Television Facebook page and YouTube channel for these and other stories. All right, I'm Ken Rebutis. That completes the news. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good night.
2020 season of SGU Knowledge Bowl comes to you in association with Grenada Cooperative Bank. Additional support provided by Glenelg Spring Water. Teams are competing for cash and other prizes to the tune of $100,000, plus bragging rights to be called the SGU Knowledge Bowl champion. Hello, I'm Kimon Sandy. And I'm Yashira Peters. And we are your moderators for this, the 14th season of SU Knowledge Bowl. 14 secondary schools have lined up in the Intercall of Academia to capture the coveted SGU Knowledge Bowl Championship trophy, cash, and other prizes. And Yashira would be your moderator for this evening's epic battle. The competing teams are the Anglican High School and the Happy Hill Secondary School. I now invite the players from the Anglican High School to introduce themselves. Myself, Mahi Jada, I'm a fifth former of the Anglican High School. My name is Seema Patel and I'm a fifth form student of the Anglican High School. My name is Grace Niles and I'm a fifth form student of the Anglican High School. Anglican High School, previously called the Church of England High School, was the brainchild of Archdeacon Walton. The acronym AHS also refers to Always High Standards, which the faculty continues to engrave in the minds of its students. The school opened its doors at Bachelor Hall, Simmons Alley on September 18, 1916, with 19 students and three teachers. Now with a student role of 697, staff of 50, and ancillary staff of 7, AHS currently offers 24 disciplines. It has earned the Marisho Cup Award, the Lagrenade Shield, CXC Island Scholar, 13 times Intercall Champions, 7 times RBTT Young Leaders Champion, 6 times Inter-Secondary Schools Netball Champion, 4 times Secondary Schools Basketball Champion, and 2008 Champions of this very prestigious competition, the SGU Knowledge Bowl. Thank you. Happy Hill Secondary. My name is Shavan Alexis and I'm a fifth form student of the Happy Hill Secondary School. My name is Junaika Campbell and I am a fourth form student of the Happy Hill Secondary School. My name is Aliyah Bishop and I'm a fifth form student of the Happy Hill Secondary School. Happy Hill Secondary School is situated in the village of Happy Hill, St. George. The school was founded on September 9, 1980 and now has a school population of 729 students, 322 being males and 407 being females, a ratio of 1 to 1.27. Happy Hill Secondary can boast of a very extensive curriculum with a blend of academic as well as vocational subjects. 29 are offered at the CXC level. The school also participates and excels at sports and other extracurricular activities. Thank you, teams. We now take a short break and return with tonight's match. <laughs> 